Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk a little bit about domain names and how to redirect domain names and track them using Google Analytics tracking tags. And so one of the first questions uh, that, that comes up is typically, hey, if I own more than one domain, can I redirect it to my website? And the answer to that is, yes, you can. Now, Instead of blindly, what I call blind uh, redirects, which is you just redirect it and um, you're not tracking or using Google Analytics, the blind redirect, yes, it does capture um, it does capture traffic. You know, it does capture type in traffic. It does uh, capture redirect traffic. But what's hard to tell is where the traffic actually came from. So that's what we're going to. That's what I'm going to show you here in this tutorial, uh, real briefly. And so I also have an article uh, that's listed on kickstartcommerce.com. If you go and type Google Analytics tracking tags or redirects into the search box that's here then uh, this article will come up and it highlights how this uh, article came about was I was watching television one day and ran across a Prodaxa uh, commercial and saw that they use redfishprodaxa.com and if you enter that into a web browser you will be redirected to prodaxa.com what was interesting though was once I got to the website I noticed that they were uh, tracking and so it brought about the idea of what if there's a small business or any business size that's out there that you have your primary domain name uh, such for instance I have kickstartcommerce.com but you want to own additional domain names um, you know outside of your primary domain name but you want to use the secondary domains and redirect them to your website how do you do that and how do you track it so I'm going to use my own site and my own um, domain name and so I use GoDaddy and so I've already logged in to GoDaddy I have the domain name uh, that I purchased uh, some time ago and it is called Website SEO tips.com. I purchased it in an expired domain auction uh, from GoDaddy's expired domain auction, and it was used by a previous SEO company um, and it didn't have any spammy links. So I purchased it in aux auction for, um, I believe, somewhere like $20, $30. And now I wanted to actually use that and take advantage of some of the links that are out there and so what I've done is I've gone and what what you end up setting up is called forwarding and so you know forwarding lets you uh, let your domain visitors visit another site so when they type it in or they click that if they click a link that's redirected to website SEO tips.com so let's just say for instance the company that had it before me they used it as a blog they got their name out there um, other websites linked to them well now that I own that same domain all I have to do is redirect website SEO tips.com and forward that over to kickstart so using the forwarding service here in GoDaddy I simply go to manage and you can already see I already have the link that's there so I click manage it pops up I click this little edit icon here to the right and in there I want to redirect this domain to a specific article uh, called 108 actions to increase uh, I believe website traffic and search rankings now that's so this is the link what's at the end of the link is crucial because these are Google tags now you can read more about the article that I had introduced you to um, in the beginning of this tutorial you can go there read a little bit more in depth about the article in short what I'm doing is I'm going to put a question mark at the end of the URL and then use and assign Google Analytics uh, tracking tags so you have what's called the UTM underscore medium and for that value I'm going to place in their domains to add the next parameter I put a ampersand sign there and then come in and place the source 
And so essentially what I'm saying is I have a category, which I'll show you here in Google Analytics tracking. It's called domains. Then that's the medium. Then I put a UTM underscore source, meaning where did the domain source come from? Which domain redirected this traffic? Then I type in website SEO tips dot com. And then right after that, I put another ampersand and then UTM underscore campaign equals redirect. So it tells me what medium it is. It is a domain. What source is that domain? So basically it's asking domain, who are you? Tell me what domain this is. It is website SEO tips dot com. And then finally, what type of campaign are you? I could type in here. I could type in type in um, or I could type article. I could type email. I, it could be a whole host of things. Um, and I use I use these different tracking tags depending on if I use a newsletter, if I do a banner ad, um, you know, the list goes on. So you can use the the um, campaigns the source and and mediums just as you see fit matter of fact google provides uh great info and great how to on um their support website for google analytics it doesn't provide a video but it does you you will have to do a bit of reading so nevertheless you add that there and because it's already there i'm just going to click cancel cancel here you would normally click save it would save you should be able to see the domain and the redirect and then um, once you open a browser you can type in website seotips.com click enter and we wait for it to load and you'll see that it redirects to the page that I told it which was the 108 actions to increase website traffic and search rankings. Now, once um, once it redirects, this link just appears to be a, a normal link. Well, if you click in the address bar, then you will see everything that we had typed after it, which was the question mark, the medium, the domains, the source, and then the campaign type. And so now. If you go into Google Analytics, we're on the left-hand side, you obviously go to your domain name there and reporting. Then on the left-hand side, go to acquisition. Under acquisition, go to all traffic. Under all traffic, you go to source medium. And I'll just go ahead and refresh this so you can see. So essentially, this is what it would look like. It would list all of your sources. And so as you can see, it, it shows you different domains based on what the tracking tags we use. So I named it domain, told it that the source was whatever the website is, and then um, what was it? It was a redirect. And so I'm going to actually add a few more, add 25 records in here, and let's see. So as you can see here, here's another one. I also own Austin SEO dot services slash domain. Um, I also own digital marketing profits dot com. And I use all of these um, as redirects as well as I look in. I can see over any given year. So when it comes time to look at a renewal, I can see how valuable is this domain? Is it sending me traffic? And if so, then I just come here in Google Analytics, look through, try to find that domain. Um, you know, metrics for the year, and based on the metrics for the year, that lets me know should I either renew this domain or essentially let it go, delete it, and not renew it rather. Um, and so that's it in a nutshell. That's how you can actually use more than one domain to redirect to your primary website as well as measure that redirect and ensure that you are receiving traffic. So that's it for this tutorial. If there's any questions, let me know. Please feel free to drop me a comment below or visit kickstartcommerce.com. 
and go to the contact us page and send us a message and I'll be more than glad to answer your question or help you out in any way that I can. That's it for this tutorial. We'll see you around. Thanks.